hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to do something new and it is actually an automation kind of a thing so i've been watching netflix for long and i don't remember how many years it has been so i want to automate it in a, in a way that i can actually feel like some somewhere i have saved some time okay so um, i have written the code i will explain to you but let's first see the demo and let's see how it is working so this is the code that i have and if i run it you will see everything like what actually it is automating so first it is actually going to open the netflix then it will fill these details and click on login once it has been done you will see the profiles and then it will click on the specific profile and then it will actually open the um, the show that i was watching and it will resume it actually so that i don't have to actually waste my time sc scrolling down sc scrolling down and then uh, waiting for it so whenever i'm opening my laptop this python script is going to get run and then it is going to play the uh, the show that i was last watching so i don't have to do anything right so this is it which i have uh, done uh, in terms of automation so let me explain the process now so first let me remove this entire code so that i can start fresh fresh so before starting if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do i've been watching um that there are around 99 percent of the population which is actually watching the videos but not exactly subscribing so please motivate through this journey and please subscribe okay let's uh, start without wasting any more time so what do you need so you need a few libraries so you need to install selenium and you need to install a uh, web driver so uh, you don't have to do anything if you just install selenium and that's it so you have to use pip install selenium and you have to go inside your python script folder okay once you do that there is one more requirement which is that you have to have chrome driver so I am using Chrome browser right now, so that's why I'm using Chrome driver. If you are using any other browser, then you have to use the driver for that specific browser. So you can download it; it is uh, available. But do check your Chrome version, and according to that Chrome version, you have to download the driver. So they both have to have of same uh, same version. Okay, so let's start with the code. So what do you need? You need uh, you have already installed selenium, selenium, so you have to import this. Okay, now we need to import time because I want a delay. And then I need to import one function which is actually going to click for me. Uh, sorry for the dogs howling um, I don't know what went wrong with them okay so import partisan so uh, you already know about this one this is just a time delay and rest are related to selenium which I will explain further down now what we need to do is we need to open Chrome browser so let's start slow okay let's just get Chrome to get open Okay, so webdriver dot chrome. Okay, let's run it. So it is going to open the Chrome for us, but it is not actually the full window. It is um, minimized window. You can say small window. Okay, but I want to maximize this. So how to do that? There is a function driver dot maximize window and it should do the work okay so as you can see it has maximized the window so now we have to type in the url which is netflix so i don't have the url copied so i'll try my best to remember it should be https um www.netflix.com as i am in india so it's slash ion and it depends on the uh, country so let's see if it is work if it will work okay so it did the work 
now I need to type the data here and here and then click on this so how do I do that so you can do control shift I or you can uh, simply right click anywhere and then click on inspect once you do that you need to find out the specific attribute through that you can search over those these two fields so you can click on this one and then click here you will find two things data UI field and then name field so you can use either one because they will suffice your thing and same goes for password okay so the name is password here and for button you will find a hyperlink or maybe button so here I, I can see that there is no name here but there is a data UI field so I will be searching through this okay so let's keep it open and then do our code so now what we need is we need to find three things first is that we need to find out our username and then we need to find out password field and then uh, login button or sign in button so what we need to do is we, we have few methods find element by name so uh, let me just copy this so as you have seen for username and password we have name field so we'll just go back and see this is the name so I'll just copy it and paste it here and same goes for password I'll just copy this and paste it here now I want I have already found the element but I have to now type the data right so to do that we have to use a method called send keys and this is why we have imported keys here so now you know the reason so my details are Uh, gmail.com okay and same goes for this uh, I'll be changing the password <laughs> for obvious reasons so welcome at 241 okay now we have to do the login thing sign in thing sorry so for this we don't have a name tag so I will be using data UI but as you know this is a custom attribute so I will be using CSS selector for this so we can find any CSS selector uh, if you don't have a method for that so it could be uh, data XYZ or ZXE anything you can do anything with CSS selector so there is a method find element by CSS selector and inside you have to specify if it is a a then you can type a but is it it is data ui field so i will be typing like this but it's inside button right so we have to type button first and then this and then the value so the value is login submit button now we need to click over it so we will use send keys and then there is a method keys dot enter so this is it so let's try this and see if it is working let me close this and this voila so it's working and we now came to this page now I have to find this to click on because that's my profile so if I click on my profile here you will see something weird and by weird I mean it is pointing to after but if you see this is a div tag which is my profile icon which is just an image but if you go up you will find a hyperlink so this is what I'm going to use and here also you can see a data UI field and I'm going to use this one but first let me do this okay so let me copy this profile 
selection okay so here I have to first replace button with a because it's a hyperlink as you can see here and data UI field is having this value so I'll just paste it here and instead of send keys because this is a hyperlink so we have to click on it so hyperlink works in a different way and that's it let's try I hope I haven't made any mistake okay logged in okay profile selection and it's not working because something went wrong okay what's the error Okay, let me see what did I did in the code. Okay, so I think this is not going to work like this. Let me try something new. So there is one more method. If you ever get this error, you can always try few things. So if you see this, when I put my cursor over my icon or my name, this is going to be a hyperlink this entire thing so i don't just have to find the hyperlink i can click on my name also so i can find my name and then click so there is a method which is find element by link text so i had to be smart with it because this was not working and i had no other way so you can just type your name here and let's see okay logged in and nothing worked why uh, unable to locate element link test okay did I do something wrong driver dot find element it looks fine uh, it is not able to find the element link test but it should should I give it a time driver dot sleep Okay, something is wrong. PRSHMT spelling is okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's try one more time. Oh. so the reason was that we have to give some time otherwise the driver is going to find the element but it is still on that page where we are actually login right so we have to give some time so that's why it was not working now I have come to this so if you see here I have uh, continue watching for Prashant and these are the list that I have here so I can choose any let's say I am watching um, Berserk. 
so I can just type it here and whenever I'm opening my laptop it is uh, it will open Netflix and it will continue with the episode which we were watching so let me just uh, start with suits okay so what we need to do is we need to find so, so again you can use so show selection driver dot find element by link text and here you have to type suits but there is going to be one problem with it and I'll show you what but before we go we have to provide time dot sleep again here we don't want the same mistake happening again so let me close everything let's run it okay so happy happy and now it should who should hire you so Jesus, i'd give you the 25 it clicked on source but it has to yeah, click one more time right no it's so not because we, we have to you. click on this button or anywhere here but i'll take it finding the resume button is okay but finding that whole uh, window to click on is going to be difficult so i'll just choose that resume button here And now it should work perfectly good and that's our complete code. Let's see. Because we're not going to name you. But you can so that was it for this video and I hope um, you might have got something new with this video and if you have please do subscribe to my channel and share it if you um, if you think that it is going to help anyone else and like and comment if you have any feedback for me i will always appreciate that and um, i think that's all have a good day have a good night and bye bye